The following program is brought to you by the friends and partners of Henry Fernandez Ministries. We thank you for your support. And welcome to the broadcast today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. It's lifestyle of faith, my friends. I'm telling you, we're going to empower you today. And when I say we, I have my co-host with me today, Carlene Wright. It's gonna be a great program. It's gonna be a great show. I'm so glad to be here today. We have a lot of great nuggets to share. Right, and we're gonna talk about how to get through the tough times in life. You know, because Carlene, so many times people think, okay, well, I can't make it. I can never get through certain issues in my life. But today's program is designed to help them to understand that trouble don't last always. No. And that with God, all things are possible. That's terrific because a lot of people just don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that today we'll be able to dialogue with that and give them some manuals, some things to really help them get through. And today's program is going to give you the answers to how you can get through the tough times in your life. I think now is a good time to pray, right? It is. Father, we just ask you that you will empower us today as we empower your people. Would you bless them right now? Would they open their hearts and their spirit to receive? Because I believe greater is yet to come for them in the mighty precious name of Jesus. Amen and amen. My friends, I'm telling you, it's going to be great. I can't wait to get into the rest of the program today. We'll be right back after this. We are committed to helping you build a lifestyle of faith each and every day. So stay connected to us by following Henry at Facebook at Faith for Life, where you'll receive inspirational nuggets, prayers, and ministry updates daily. And don't forget, you can also connect with Henry on Twitter and on Instagram. Your life will be transformed and take on a new meaning when you connect with us and thousands of fellow believers. Connect today. Thanksgiving is a time to offer up gratitude unto God for all he has done for you this year. Before you travel this holiday season to visit your friends and loved ones, join Henry and Carol at the Faith Center in Sunrise for our pre-Thanksgiving celebration. Don't miss these two anointed services on Sunday, November 19th, 10 a.m. and Monday, November 20th at 7.30 p.m. with special guests B.B. Winans and the African Children's Choir. Seats are free. We'll see you there. We're talking about getting through the tough times in life. And you know, Carlene, I so believe people are watching right now mm -hmm. and they can relate to the issue of going through tough times. Absolutely. You know, people are dealing with some really difficult situations in their lives. You know, I was talking to a friend recently and he was really overwhelmed wow. by the issues of life and the circumstances and uh, surprisingly, when we we're talking, he said, well, you know, I, I don't think I can make it. I don't think I can pass this struggle or this difficult season in my life. And I said to him, why would you say that? He said, I just feel like just quitting, giving up. Wow. And at that moment, I really felt the pain of someone else. Mm -hmm. You know, when they're going through something, so many people are watching right now, they, they refuse to express themselves. Right. You know, they keep a lot of things in. But I do believe that it's okay. It's okay it to is. feel as if the world is caving in on you. It's not only okay, you're going to feel that way. <laughs> right. You know, it happens so many times and a lot, just like he said, he just cannot go through this right now. But a lot of times it's not just say he cannot go through it. So many things are happening at the same time, you know, mm -hmm. so you get overwhelmed and then it's like, what do you actually do? Who right. do you talk to, like you said? Right. Are they going to, what are they gonna do with what I tell them? So you kind of keep it inside and it makes it definitely worse. Right, and, and are they gonna encourage me? Are they, exactly. You know, because a lot of people, I think when they're going through their tough times, they resort to the wrong person. Yes. You know, and you know, hooking up with the wrong person can make matters worse for you, right? It absolutely can. Here's a scripture I want to read because this is really going to help the viewers understand mm -hmm. really where we are today. It's taken from Isaiah 41, 10, and it says, don't be afraid mm -hmm. for I am with you, God speaking here. 
Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you, and I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Wow. You know, right away we can see God is saying to us, don't be afraid. Right. And how often we get so afraid, right? <laughs> Very often. The panic button, where is it? You <laughs> oh, know, yes, we just yes. want to hit it. Yes. And this is such a great reminder scripture mm -hmm. because when I think about it, you know, things happen and we're just ready to panic. But God says, call on me. He doesn't say panic. Not right. panic and right. I'll come to you. Right. Call right. on me, you know, and I'll come and, to and you. And don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. <laughs> don't be afraid of the challenges. Don't be afraid of the issues of life. Right. He says, don't be afraid. Here's the reason why you shouldn't be afraid. He's with you. He is with you. You know, here's my question, though. Why, why is it that we just can't seem to get that, that God is always with us no matter what we're going through? I think sometimes when trouble hits, you know, it feels like it's I'm all alone. I'm by myself. It's just me. And I kind of picture God sitting there like, really? Didn't I just take you through something last week? You forgot. Wow. But we are That's so good. quick to have amnesia, you know, yeah. and to forget that he's the same God that does not change. So he just right. took us through something last week mm. and he's with us. He is right there. You know, if we would really learn what you just said, you know, that if he did it before, Yes, you know, he'll do it again. He'll do it again <laughs> because he's always with us. And then it says, don't be discouraged, mm -hmm. you know. Then it says, for I am your God. Right. The reason why we shouldn't be discouraged is God is almighty. There's nothing that is impossible for mm -hmm. him. He can do all things. And once we've got him in our corner, then why are we going to panic? Why are we going to hit the panic button? Why are we going to worry about, okay, where's the resources right. coming from to take care of next month's responsibilities? You know, wh wh where are the finances or where the, the strength is going to come mm -hmm. from, the wisdom and whatever we, we panic over. Sometimes I think mm -hmm. we forget the credibility of our God. Yes, we do. And we're trying to do it in our own strength as well. So mm -hmm. you see, it's kind of like, this is my problem. How do I handle it? Mm, that's and good. Yes, how do I handle it? And right. logic is saying, well, you need to do this, get paper and pencil, mm -hmm. start writing things down, get an you know, Excel spreadsheet and try to figure it right. out. And we kind of take right, God right, out of it. Right. And you know what? No matter if we're male or female, I think we make the same yeah. mistakes, right? <laughs> I can tell you from a man's perspective, that's what we do all the time. We constantly mm -hmm. try to, you know, handle our business by ourselves. And one of the things I've discovered with God, you know, he'll wait until you are in need of him. Oh, yeah. You know, he won't force himself upon you. That's why the Bible says, behold, I stand at the yeah, door and knock. knock. Mm -hmm. If any man will open up the door, he says, I'll come in and I'll fellowship with him. I know that there's a lot of you out there today as you're watching the program, you can relate to what we're saying. You know, many of you are thinking, OK, can I get through the tough times in life? Yes, you can get through the tough times in life. I want you right now to take a look at this message that I preached recently, and we'll be right back after this. God will allow you to go in the midst of a crisis to empower you, to strengthen your faith, to build up your immune system, your spiritual immune system, to get to that place where you can trust him no matter what, where you can come out of it with a testimony, where you can come out where people will say, how in the world you stayed in that? How in the world you endured that? How in the world you overcame that situation? I know I'm talking to some people here. You are on a job right now. And you feel as if every time you go to that job, it's all kinds of stuff that's happening in that job. Situations that just wouldn't, would normally make you sick. The enemy has thrown a lot of stuff on that job. Garbage, I mean, issues from gossip to pull down and to tear down or whatever, blockage to block you from being promoted and so forth. But if your spiritual immune system is strong, you know how to endure it. Some of you, what you need is stubborn faith. What is stubborn faith? A faith that will go into the midst of crisis and say, you know what? I'm not going to let this thing wear me out. I'm not going to let this thing discourage me. I'm not going to let this thing take me out of my praise mode. 
because I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will always be in my mouth. I'm going to bless him when I have money. I'm going to bless him when I don't have money. I'm going to bless him when I'm healed. I'm going to bless him when I'm sick. I'm going to bless him whether my relationship is strong or not. I'm going to bless him when my relationship is at the floor level. I'm going to bless the Lord at all times. I'm going to bless the Lord when even when the enemy throw all kinds of trash on me and I don't know how to sort things out in my life, I have made a decision. My faith is stubborn. It is rooted that no nothing that the enemy will put in my path will ever weaken my faith. Am I talking to anybody here today? So a storm came, right? A physical storm came and it did some damages. Look at the Caribbean. And when I look at the, the images, one island was totally evacuated. What's, what's the sense in that God? Why would you allow something like that to happen? But we tend to forget the goodness of God. We tend to forget. For every time and season, the enemy demolishes things in our lives. God somehow always step in and show us that when things get knocked out, knocked down, crushed, it's just time for rebuilding. So I don't know what storm is in your life. According to the word of God here, and I try to close this, we are troubled on every side. Everybody's got trouble. Everybody in here has got trouble. Hey, if you don't have it now, keep on living. We are troubled on every side, whether it's medically, financially, family, relational, Whatever it is, all of us, we're troubled on every side. And then the Bible says, though the trouble is there, we are not distressed. Our spiritual immune system is so strong, like that man, so strong. Others would try, some of you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. If others would ever try handling some of the stuff you're handling, Come on, hit somebody and tell them, you just don't know. You just don't know. <laughs> you just don't know, man. You just don't know. Oh, uh, you see people you're sitting next to, and just because they're all dressed up and they look fine, you have no idea what they're fighting. You have no idea the trash that's around them. Glory to God. And you know what? They don't allow themselves to get depressed. There's some of us. We refuse to get depressed. We refuse to give the enemy the upper hand. Ah, uh, we gonna fight through it. We gonna fight through it. No matter what we go through, we not gonna wake up and leave our house for the world to see that we are going through. The devil is a liar. Every time we leave our homes, we gonna hold up our head and we gonna rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. We gonna drive in our cars. We gonna move around in our cities. We gonna be at the workplace and we gonna not, not, not fake it. We gonna faith it. We gonna faith it every time. Not enough gas in the car, but we gonna act like we got a full tank of gas. Not enough groceries at home, but we're going to act like we just had belly full at home. No matter what, we are going to go through it all the way with a smile. Can somebody give God glory in this place? So let's talk a little bit about the areas in our lives uh, where mm. we find we get some of the most difficult tests, yeah. if you will. Uh, what about our mind? That's a big one because, mm -hmm. you know, Every, a lot starts in your mind because if your thinking is not right, mm. it sets the pace for everything else. Wow. If you're doubting, I can't do it, you know, I can't make it on this job, I'm not good enough. That really sets the pace for how you're going to act, how people perceive you, and the results that you're going to get. So your mind has to be renewed, and I think that's why the scripture says, make sure that this mind that is in Christ is in you, your mind is renewed. What about your health? Oh, the health is also yeah. a big one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a lot of people are struggling right now. People are watching the program. Yeah. Maybe you're in the hospital, you're sick at home, or you've received a bad diagnosis. Mm -hmm. You know, people struggle with health they issues. They do. 
And it, it also speaks to the point of discipline. You know, there is also that you want to make sure that you're doing what you need to do to stay right. healthy. Right. So which in, is important. Which is very, very yeah. important. Yeah, so a lot of people <laughs> rely so much on faith, but the Bible says faith without works. Right, it's dead. Is you dead. have to put it together because everything works together. So if right. you're doing the right things, you're eating right, and it all should work together. Here's a big one. Relationships. Oh, I'll just drop the mic on that one. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a really big one because that yeah. actually just kind of kills your entire day, everything. Wow. You know, when you're going through a relationship problem, it's like you, you don't want to eat. Mm. You don't want to go anywhere. For some people, they do not want to leave the house. And I know some of you out there can relate to me saying that. You just feel like all is over. Mm. And that's when we really have to dig deep and try to find that inner strength to say, right. I can make it. Right. I'm going to come out of this relationship situation. Well, so many people allow a bad relationship oh, yeah. to determine their destiny when it comes to future relationships. You know, yeah. if, if, if they think that, okay, they've given a bad one, Mm -hmm. Well, that's the end of it and so forth. But I want people out there to recognize this, that the God that we serve is a God of second chances. Yes. You know, that if you put your trust in him, that though you're going through tough times, especially in your relationship, that you can pray over your relationship right mm -hmm. now because God can heal it. And okay. if it's broken and if it's torn apart, that God also can touch your life to give you mm -hmm. something even greater. We're talking about tough times here, my friends, and I am telling you, this program today is here to help you because prior to this broadcast, you felt like a loser, right? You felt like there's mm -hmm. no hope. You felt like, okay, you can't handle things anymore and you're about to give up, but God sent Carlene and I here today to give you hope, to let you know that better is on its way, that God, the God that you serve is well able to sustain you and he'll keep you and you're going to get through it. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, when you come out of it, when oh, you come yeah. out on the <laughs> other side, glory to God, <laughs> you're going to recognize that you went through it, not just for yourself, but you went through it for somebody yeah. else too. My goodness, I'm about to preach <laughs> right here because God is well able to he sustain is. you, my friend. We'll be right back after this talking about how to get through tough times. Are you looking for a place where you can develop and strengthen your faith in God? An atmosphere where you can freely lift your hands in worship? Join us for worship at the Faith Center Church, the place where ordinary people develop extraordinary faith. Not in the South Florida area? That's okay. You can be part of our worship experience via live stream. For service times and locations, log on to www. Dot the faith center, int dot org. You know, I believe that whenever we're faced with difficulties mm -hmm. in our lives, that we must always remember that the grace of God is sufficient to keep us. It is. And this is so important. I want to read 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9. It says, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Now, you know, I've read that scripture over and over, but when God is saying that his power mm -hmm. is perfected Indeed. in moments that we're weak, I mean, that's just awesome. It is, and it, it lets you know you're going to have those moments of weakness, but he has already prepared, wow. you know, a way out for you because that's when his power is made perfect because we have no power. Wow. You know, the power that we have cannot get us through these rough times. Yes but his power is gonna take us to that next level. I love this scripture. I love the way that God has already made his grace there for us to really escape. Because I'm telling you, in this life, there are so many challenges, so many things that we are going through daily. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. Right. <laughs> and if we don't listen to the scriptures and actually take it to heart, we can find ourselves just being frustrated and overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. But God is saying his grace is sufficient. So now we have to believe what he says. Absolutely. You know, and really just let it apply to our situation. Absolutely. And I tell you what, I believe, you know, as we said before, tough times really is a part of the human development. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about how, uh, how can we get through the tough times, if you will. Um, first of all, there are seven mm -hmm. ways we can get through tough times. Let's get through them real quickly. Uh, what, what about building yourself up in the word? What does that mean? That's a really good one because without the word of God, you can't make it. You know, right. 
my word, thy word have I hid in my heart so that I won't sin against God. So when you're going through the tough time, you need something to pull from. Right. It's kind of like having gas in your tank. You can't yes. drive anywhere if you don't have some gas preach, in your tank. Preach, sister, preach. <laughs> so you need that to be yes. able to say, I can do all things through Christ Amen. who strengthens me. I am an overcomer. You know, you need to be able to pull on that. I am strong. Right. And that's how you're going to help to build yourself up. Reading books, you know, listening to audios that are uh, empowering, that's going to really get you to the next level. Number two, don't panic. And that is so important. I'm a panicker. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think all of us, right? We have a tendency to, to panic, do that. Yes. But we can get through tough times when, number one, when we build ourselves yes. up in the Word of mm -hmm. God and when we don't, don't panic. panic. Number three, when we confront our challenges. Easier said than done. Though. I know, I know, Easier but we've got done. to confront <laughs> our challenges. So let me say, say it to you right now. Let me say it to you right now. You've got to confront your challenges. That's number three. Number four, seek for sound yeah. spiritual advice. Very How good. important is that? That is so important because, you know, if you're hearing things that's not going to get you to where you need to be, you're already oh. in trouble. Oh, yes. If you have someone that is speaking into your life or if you're around people who are negative, mm -hmm. they're telling you things you can't, right. they're not speaking faith, then right. you're on a decline. Right. So you have to make right. sure that you get that sound advice that's going to build up your faith and help you to move on to where you need to be. Number five, be patient. That simply means oh. accept delays <laughs> in your life. A lot of times we don't want to hear that. But we want it that. quick. It's a microwave society. I know, society. I know, I know, but we've got to wait. That's why the Bible says, wait on the Lord and be, be of, of good, good courage. courage. Number six, be persistent. Continue firmly without wavering in spite yeah. of the challenges you face. So I think sometimes, you know, people, you know, they mm -hmm. quit easily. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's just about the time for them to break through and, then, and they give up, <laughs> right? And number seven, be courageous, yes. be brave. And sometimes mm -hmm. I think we lose that, right? We don't we know do. how to be brave and to be bold. You know, I, I tell people all the time, I've got stubborn faith. Mm, like it's it. a faith that just won't quit. won't quit. No, I refuse to quit until the day I die. <laughs> I'm not a quitter. And we are stronger than we think. You know, yes. a lot of times when the... Say it again, I like that. We are definitely stronger than we think. You are stronger than you think when the yes. situation hits automatically we think like it's not going to work out I, it's over wow. but when you come on the other side and you're looking back you're like I did it you know through mm. God's grace of course but you've now made it over so we yes. are definitely stronger than we think wow wow that is amazing I am telling you man I hope today that you're getting something out of this broadcast we are really trying to help you to get through the tough times in in your life all of us at some point in time will experience difficult seasons that we think will break us down to nothing. And today, my friend, God designed this program to tell you whatever you're dealing with right now, you can get through it. Are you hearing me? Come on now. You need to sit up, square your shoulders, and believe that all things are possible through Jesus Christ. We'll be right back after this. Thanksgiving is a time to offer up gratitude unto God for all he has done for you this year. Before you travel this holiday season to visit your friends and loved ones, join Henry and Carol at the Faith Center in Sunrise for our pre-Thanksgiving celebration. Don't miss these two anointed services on Sunday, November 19th, 10 a.m. and Monday, November 20th at 7.30 p.m. with special guests B.B. Winans and the African Children's Choir. Seats are free. We'll see you there. Yes, you can get through the tough times in your life. We've been talking about this throughout the entire broadcast, and I hope it has been a blessing to you. My friends, I want to encourage you to be a partner with me in ministry. We're only doing this because of people like you in your area who support our ministry financially. If you'll take a moment right now, you can pick up the phone, there's a number that's on your screen right now. If you dial that number, an operator is standing by and we will answer your call and you can sow your best financial gift to this ministry to help us to do what God has called us to do so we can tell somebody else that they can get through the tough times in life. You can go to our website. The website information is on the screen and you can right now log on and just click on the give link and follow the prompts there or you can mail it in right there. If the address is on your screen, get a pen quickly, would you? And write it down and sow your best seed into the ministry. Now listen, 
I really want to talk to those of you who don't know the Lord as your personal Savior right now. Perhaps, you know, you've been going to church, you don't go to church or whatever, and you think this is religion. This is not religion. This is a relationship with Jesus Christ. I'd like to pray with you right now. If you don't know the Lord as your personal Savior, would you repeat the sinner's prayer? Would you say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner, and I repent of my sins today. I invite Jesus to be Lord of my life, and today I'm born again in Jesus' name, amen. Welcome to the family of God. On your screen right now, there's a booklet I'd like to send to you absolutely free, beginning your walk with Christ. If you would go right now, and if you will log on to the website, we'll send this to you absolutely free. Just click on the salvation link and we thank you uh, so much. Now listen, those of you who have sent in your prayer requests, thank you so much. Here's a lady saying, please pray for our hearts to heal from the death of a child. So please know we're here praying for you at Henry Fernandez Ministry and we'll so love to continue to do that. Follow me on social media platforms. The information is right there on your screen. I want to connect with you, like my page. Every day and every week I send out powerful messages to you. I want to thank my co-host Carleen for sharing this moment with me. It's been a great time for us to empower you, my friends. So thank you so much. If you're ever in the Fort Lauderdale area, please come by and worship the Lord with us. The information about our church is right there on the screen. And by the way, if you have not gotten a copy of my brand new book, Favor Unleashed, Embracing God's Best for Your Life. Please go get your copy today and the Lord bless you. Listen, faith in God will always move mountains out of your life. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. The greatest thing in life is to know and receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. You can have that personal relationship and fellowship with Jesus today just by asking Him into your life. Simply believe with your heart that Jesus is God's Son and confess with your mouth that He is your Lord. If you have recently taken that step to becoming a believer and made Jesus the Lord of your life, we would like to send you a free booklet by Henry Fernandez titled, Beginning Your Walk with Christ to help you better understand your new life in Christ. In this book, you will discover what it means to be a part of God's family, the power of God's Word in your life, the joy of spending time with God in prayer, the importance of fellowship with other believers, why it's important to share your faith with others, and much more. Salvation is God's gift to all mankind. To receive your free copy of Beginning Your Walk with Christ, log on to henryfernandez.org and click on Meet Christ. You can also call the toll-free number on your screen. Operators are standing by. Hi, my name is Kathy, and I want you to know that I got a copy of Henry Fernandez's new book, Favor Unleashed. Everyone should get this book. It's life-changing. If you're looking for answers on how you can embrace what God has already given you, this is a must-read. Learn more from Henry Fernandez's new book, Favor Unleashed. Get your copy today at Amazon.com, Barnes & Noble, or wherever books are sold. Thank you for watching Lifestyle of Faith with Henry Fernandez. It's your financial support that enables us to take the gospel to viewers in your area and around the world.